tau overflows be authentic to what you feel in 6th century ad a buddhist master bodhidharma traveled from india to china nearly 1000 years after gautam the buddha he was invited by king wu of wu dynasty he put one of his shoes on his head and the other was on one of his feet and one was on the head the emperor of china wu had come to welcome him he became disturbed there were many many rumors of course that this man was strange and he, but he was an enlightened one and the emperor wanted to welcome him to his kingdom he became disturbed his courtiers they also became disturbed what type of man this was and he was laughing it was not good to say anything before others so when everybody had gone and bodhidharma and the emperor retired into bodhidharma's room the emperor asked please tell me why are you making such a fool of yourself why are you carrying one shoe on your head and other in the foot foot bodhidharma laughed and said because i can laugh at myself and it is good to show you my reality i am such a man also i do not pay more importance to my head than i pay to my feet both are the same for me the head and feet both have their function higher and lower have disappeared means foot is the lowest part of the body and head is the highest we consider head more important than the foot but they have equal importance in life i want to tell you that i do not pay any significance or attention to what others say about me this is good the first moment that i and the first moment that i entered i wanted you to know what type of man i am bodhidharma was a rare jewel really very few have existed who can be compared to him what was he showing he is simply showing that on this path of spirituality you are alone and you are to go alone on an individual voyage as an individual society becomes irrelevant the crowd is not important i have heard once someone had come to do an interview with george gurchief the man who came was a well known journalist gurchief's disciple were very much excited because now the story was going to be in big newspaper and their master's photograph and their master's news was going to be published they cared very much and paid much attention to the journalist they virtually forgot their master and they hung around the journalist when then the interview began but really it never began when the journalist ask some questions to gurjeev gurjeev said wait a minute 
Just by his side was sitting a lady. Gurjiev asked, What day is today? The lady said, Sunday. Gurjiev said, How is that possible? Just the other day, before it was Saturday. So, how can it be Sunday? How it can be Sunday today? Just the other day it was Saturday. Just the other day you said it is Saturday and now it is Sunday. How after Saturday can Sunday come? How after Saturday Sunday can come? Listen to Gurdjieff carefully. Otherwise you will miss him. The journalist stood up and said, I am going. This man seems to be mad. And all the disciples just could not understand what had happened. When the journalist had left, Gurdjieff was laughing. What other day, what others day, what others say is not relevant. Be authentic to what you feel and be authentic. If the real silence happens to you, you will be able to laugh. Silence, the laughter, the real laughter, the laughter of a Bodhidharma or Gurdjieff is the blossoming of inner silence. It is said about Dozen, a Zen master, that when he attained enlightenment, many people came. What did you do after that? And he said, I ordered a cup of tea. What did you do? He was asked. He said, I ordered a cup of tea. What is there to do next? What is there to do next? Everything is finished. Enlightenment means everything is finished. The end has come. You had been working to attain to something. After that, you have finished your degree. What is after that? Is there anything to do? After that, whatever you have attained, the wisdom, the understanding, you have to live by that and practice that, isn't it? What is there to do next? Everything is finished. Enlightenment is the end of life's journey. And when the life's journey comes to an end, only then really you are living. And Dozen was serious about his playfulness. Playful about his seriousness? Yes. Really, what remains after when you have achieved the highest? Do not pay much attention to what others say and remember only one thing. Do not force and cultivate stillness. A cultivated stillness will be serious, ill, tense, but how can a real silence come to you? How can real silence come to you? Try to understand this. You are tense. You are tense. You are unhappy. You are depressed, angry, greedy and violent. All these things are happening to you. A thousand diseases are there. Still you want to practice silence. These diseases will remain within you and you are trying to create a layer of silence. Isn't it that we are doing? There are so many diseases. The anger, depression, 
greed, violence, tension, and so many things. And amidst all these, you are trying to create a layer of stillness. You can do transcendental meditation. You can use a mantra or zikr. That is what we are told to do. This is not going to change your violence. Neither is it going to change your greed. The chanting of the mantra, the chanting of the zikr is not going to change your anger, your greed. You had been doing this all your life. Have your greed disappeared? Has your anger or violence disappeared? It is not going to change anything deep within. The mantra can just give you a tranquilizing effect. Just on the periphery, you will feel more silent. It is just like a tranquilizer, a sound tranquilizer. And tranquilizing is possible through many ways, many ways. When you repeat a mantra continuously, a boredom is created and you become sleepy. Any con continuous repetition of a sound creates boredom and brings sleep. You feel relaxed, but this relaxation is just on the surface. Within you remains everything same, the turmoil, the disturbance. Go on practicing a mantra or a zikr every day. And you will feel a certain stillness, but not really, because your disease have not changed. You have not found a solution for your anger, greed, tension, depression, and all those things that are growing in you, mushrooming deep within you like a cancerous growth. And you feel you have taken a tablet and you feel or you have done any kind of therapy and you feel a little, a certain kind of stillness but not really because your disease has not changed, your personality structure remains the same, it is just whitewashed. Stop the mantra. Stop the practice and all your diseases will come up again. So you continuously having the rosary in your hand. You will see many people around you having the rosary in their hands and doing all the things with rosary in their hand. Look deep within. Has anything changed in them? Their greed, their anger, their tension, their depression, anything changed? Just on the surface, it has been whitewashed. The wall has fungus, moisture and everything and you just paint it. So what will happen? The moment paint the wall is painted which has enough moisture sooner or later the inner moisture of the wall will surface on the area where there is there was moisture and life continues like this enough for now